What's up guys, it's the Dawson2x and I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary here today about the new map pack Vengeance for Black Ops 2. And let's get started with the gameplay. The gameplay is on Raid, it is Ground War Team Deathmatch. And I don't really play Ground War too much and this is my first time playing it on Black Ops 2 and I did pretty well. I managed to pull off a couple VSATs in, my war in a Warthog. And that's about it what the gameplay is about the the new map pack vengeance for black ops 2 is going to consist of four multiplayer maps a zombies map and a new zombies weapon called the ray gun mark 2 we'll talk about that in a little first off the four multiplayer maps are going to be called cove rush uplink and detour first first of all cove is a island and it seems pretty cool because it's not your typical island where there's just a, pl a plain flat surface with a couple trees and if it was that you guys we would get spawn trapped for days and but no there's rocks and stuff to hide behind and take cover if you're taking fire so that's what I like about how they took the time to put that in there instead of just putting a plain stupid island called Cove that people can spawn trap and that would be dumb. That would be just a waste of a map. The second one is called Rush. It is a paintball map and they it's all different areas and surfaces because there's many different rooms. There's rooms with in those inflatable bounce house looking things that paintball people take cover and if you've ever been to a paintball field or a paintball arena you would know what I'm talking about. They're those big, colorful, inflatable air things that people hide behind and they're impenetrable from the paintballs. Alright, the next one is going to be called Uplink. And it's going to be a remake of the Black Ops... Zo no, not Zombie, my bad. The Black Ops 1 map. I think it is called... I forgot, I'll get to that later. I'll look it up for you guys. I, don't, I didn't really play Black Ops 1. I didn't really like it. I like MW2 better. But the third map is going to be called Detour and it is going to be on a bridge. And that seems pretty cool because it's not just a plain bridge. There is broken down cars everywhere and there's spots that you can fall. So it's not just a plain road. And then there's also underground so you can take the flank route and you can do better when you flank with an SMG or shotgun or short range rep weapon rather than stay up top and use an assault rifle or a sniper. The the new zombies map buried is going to be underground. It is an older old western town that is going to be buried underground hence the name buried. And there is going to be many characters, many new characters like there is going to be a giant that can you can be with or against you're going to have to feed him candy to for him to be with you that's what I saw in the trailer and that is pretty much the wait oh wait one second the new zombies map I'm um, map gun this is what a lot of these zombies put zombie players like me have been waiting for a new gun because the same plain old guns are getting boring to us zombie players. We want a little more spice in the zombies. And that's what David Vonderhaar and their team did for us. They gave us a new gun. And the gun is going to be called the Ray Gun Mark II. And that's exciting because, well, at first I wasn't really excited because I hated the Ray Gun when I played with it. It sucks to me after a couple rounds. But the Ray Gun Mark II is going to be a better upgraded version of the Ray Gun. You can shoot through multiple zombies at once. And it just looks like a beast. It looks a brand new uh, texture of the gun. And it's not just the same old pistol. It looks huge. And that's about it for the gameplay, guys. It's been the Dawson 2X. And see you later. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and all that good stuff. Love you guys. Bye.